Hi, welcome, it's Jim from Mavstar. Obviously, something more than what they're saying is going on. Mainstream media is saying that Microsoft has been hit by a global outage and some news media outlets are saying it's nothing to do with the cyber attack. Well, there is only two uh, countries in the world, are, in my view, that are capable of such a thing. And this, by the way, is global and it has affected a lot of big companies. Royal Mail, banks, delivery uh, companies across the range globally. This is a big thing, guys, and you know they're playing it down. I think, if you ask me, out of those two countries, Russia and China, is behind this. It's China, and you know we only have to listen to the rhetoric to know that there is more than a small problem at the moment with China. China have been building up their arms for. A long long time and I think that they're ready to take on the big boy in the playground America and I think this is the start of it so you know there is a big problem going around I think um, when they talk about Microsoft I mean we could be conspiratorial theorists here we could say well didn't Microsoft sell off a load of shares last month a huge amount and now this happens and what does that do to the share price it drives it down so if the share price is driven down, there's a good opportunity for Microsoft to cash in. If this isn't a cyber attack, then it's something to do with Microsoft, isn't it? Well, we will never know, will we? The minions will never know because they don't tell us the truth ever. And this is what this video is based on. Um, who do you trust? Do you trust the mainstream organizations? Do you trust the mainstream scientific departments like NOAA, NASA, the European Space Agency? You know, when they show us data of, you know, where they're positioning the magnetic north pole and they can't even get on their maps the legend correct, the data, the legend, and the description of the legend correct, you know, someone from our channel had to notify the Met Office that they made a mistake on the legend and then it was corrected. You know, that's where we are right now. Uh, but my point is this, is how do you know the swarm satellites are even in space? The swarm mission was there, put in place to monitor the magnetic field of the Earth. Now, I know somebody that works at the ESA, and they said they wasn't even able to get access to the data that was sent back from them satellites. All they had access to, apparently, was the functioning of the satellites, but not the magnetic data. That was sent to another department according to this person that worked at the ESA. Can you believe this? So my point is this, when they tell us that it is, you know, in a, in a roundabout way, you know, this, on this hand, this is what they're saying is the truth. How do we know it's not on the other hand and something completely entirely different? How do we know the satellites are even up there in space? Has anyone with, you know, a reasonable amateur telescope spotted these satellites ever? You know, and got a reasonable image to show the swarm satellites are even up in space? We never, we're, we never will know. We'll always be kept in the dark. And that's the same for everything across the range. You know, if you want to present a case against the jury in a courtroom, you have to have solid factual evidence you can't have hearsay you can't have speculation it has to be facts and that's why we at this observatory have got the equipment ourselves because we don't have to rely on any of these organizations when it comes down to tracking and positioning the magnetic north pole which we'll be giving our patrons tomorrow it will be there tomorrow for them you know when it comes down to co2 information we've got our own atmospheric co2 detector that tells us exactly how many parts per million is in the atmosphere we don't have to rely on a department to tell us here at the observatory how much co2 is in the atmosphere and that goes for the same for the intensity the magnetic intensity in the regions where we have magnetometers and that goes also for the amount of muons that also goes for um, atmospheric oxygen and a lot of other things that we've got. You know, background radiation. You know, no one can tell us what background radiation there is. We know. 
because we've got the equipment. That's how we know. Have you got the equipment? Have you got a CO2 detector? You've got atmospheric oxygen detectors at home? If you haven't, then you're relying on just the information that you're being told. And I want to ask you something. Would that stand up in court? Can you take that information to the bank as accurate when it comes from shady companies like Microsoft, like Google, like CNN, like the BBC? You know, I'm not singling out any of these companies because they're all as bad as each other. And I think you, as well as I know, that we've all had enough of this nonsense. Being taxed 40% you know, and watching them give our taxpayers money away to other countries to fight wars. Uh, the worst thing, to fight wars. Not for aid, not for food, but to, you know, supply weapons so that wars can continue and people can continue being tortured, killed, murdered. The point is this. Unless you've got your own equipment, you have to rely on them. Or you can help support a small observatory like ours who have independently gone out there and built and brought their own equipment. There's no reason for us to lie to you because we're not sponsored by any big corporation. You know, our funds come directly from you. And if we don't get no funding from you, then we don't get no funding. Simple as that. You know, you cannot trust anybody these days. You cannot trust any of these organizations. For all we know, you know, this is a cyber attack and this is a precursor to war with China. And if that's the case, we'll be tied us all because we might be on the doorstep of something really ugly taking place next. You know, set aside the climate. You know, they might be doing this war because all else has already failed. They know that there's crop shortages. They know they can't feed the people that are here already. They know that they can't stimulate the economy because the truth is inflation is skyrocketing right now. They're saying it's down here in the UK from 12% to just over 2%. Let me tell you something. Just walk in the shop and ask yourself, is that food dearer today than it was 12 months ago? 24 months ago, 36 months ago, and you do the same in America. Ask yourself the question, how much is your money worth? And even more so in America, I'll tell you why. Because the BRICS nations are walking away from the dollar as a global currency. And right now, sadly, my brothers and sisters, your brothers and sisters in the States are sitting there with a 34 trillion deficit, a debt and it's over the GDP, which means clearly, you can look this up, clearly the United States, just like the United Kingdom and a lot of European countries, we are all insolvent. So a famous quote from Gerald Salenti, when you, when, they, when you lose everything, they take you to war. And goddamn, I think that well, that is the case. When you see that globally, all these companies are being hit by some form of cyber attack. Let me tell you something. I know one company that had this happen to them a few months ago, and it cost them one million pound a day. Who can sustain such losses as that? This ain't over yet. You know, keep your eyes open. Keep your ears pricked up. There's more of this to come. And more so, if you want information on these areas that I've mentioned, you know, about the equipment that we have here at the observatory, then for God's sakes, why don't you get behind us? What are you waiting for? Is it the fact that it takes a little bit of time to fill out that form? And that's too much to ask. People have got to get real. Especially more so in these days than in any other time in our history. You know, humanity is at risk. And there is no continuity plans for us.
There's a link down there if you want to help support. You know, I'll say what I usually do. Take care of your loved ones, as always. Bye for now.